And now on Boss's channel. What's going on, guys? Thought I'd give you a small overlook at what I'm doing in uh, another project of mine. Not filming this one, but I'd like to show you something a little weird. This is from Sword of Seals, if you couldn't tell. And I wanted to show you one of the most amazing things I've ever seen with a knight of mine. Now, this doesn't look good for him, does it? Let's see how it turns out. One thing I will say about Boars, he's very weird as a general. He has absolutely no skill, but really fast. And his age, his like attack is pretty low for a general as well. Oh, wow. He, he's pulling the shit back together. Oh my god, he might actually win this. Wow. Does he win it here? No, he doesn't. Does that mean he's going to die? Nope. Well, then he must win it here. Nope, he doesn't. And then he dies. Nope, he doesn't. Then he must win it here. And yes, he does. Of course, he's going to get like a really stupid amount of experience. <laughs> and there you go. Let's do a little shake. I mean, look at that. Horrible speed, attack, and skill, but... Well, back to fire emblem. After that small little break, uh... Just thought I'd show that to you guys. Thought it'd be funny. It was like a little outside the regular scoop video. This little shit bitch has a hammer over here. God, Earth's been getting a lot of criticals. Pretty interesting. There's Pen over there. We can actually go talk to him, but you can't really get him. So, we'll worry about him later. There's no point talking to him. Does he still. Yeah, he still has a slim sword. Of course, you still get Hannah away. Who the hell has, still has a slim sword around this point in the game? Other than me. Oh, yeah, I'd still be carrying one around. Jesus. There's a good thing some units spawned here, or else I might have, uh. The game might have, uh. This chapter might have been over. Because Pent would have possibly killed Paul up there. Strangely enough, I thought Urk could talk to him. But apparently you can't. It's just a lie would. Well, it was a small conversation. One thing I never thought to do, how come I didn't rescue him? Oh, right, because... Oh, I know why. Because no one could. Because what's-his-face couldn't reach him. And if you look around here, you can get a couple different items. Which I will show off in a second. So if you sit here, you get an eclipse. I believe I reload that, right? Yeah. Now if you go here, you also get an eclipse. And if you go here, you get an eclipse. But if you go here, you get an... What the hell is that? A dance that increases how it's attack for a turn. Well, screw that. I never use a dancer. Give me that eclipse. So yeah, apparently I was wrong. You can only get two from every single thing. That's pretty good. I got an eclipse spell. Which basically reduces enemy HP by half. It was a lot more threatening in Sword of Seals, where it reduced their HP to one. That was... That's, like, trippy. It's not even trippy. What the hell? Why did I say that's trippy? Why did he turn into a key? To quote Proton John. That was a really funny episode. I'm hoping, praying to God, I can get over there and get over that fossil. But, I doubt I can. I can make it, but I can only get one of the items. I can't go around the other side of it. Why did I move over there? 
Oh right, because I'm just realizing I can't get any more fossil items. So you can only get one, unfortunately. Yep. Sad story, unfortunately. Okay, cool, there's a unit down there, so... Basically what that means is I won't be able to kill the units, meaning I will be able to get at least one item. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get the item that you could get around the other side of the fossils. So I'm just going to list what that is, because I can't remember what item I actually got. But I know what item I didn't get, and that's an ocean seal. What an ocean seal does is evolves a pirate. Only pirate we got is dart. So it's a one person item. I'm pretty sure it's the only pirate you're going to get in the game. So yeah. I don't think you can use it on Dorkaz. Kind of cool if you could. Ow. Get the hell out of here. 37% chance to hit. Bullshit. Oh yeah, 5 damage. It's like a flip of the cape and you dodge a thunderbolt. Oh wait, I don't get any item from the fossil. Okay. Well, there you have it. Wrong. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to talk to him, so. I guess that's what he does if you forget to talk to him. You get him either way. So I guess it doesn't matter. He would have just helped you out there in the chapter, although... He really couldn't help because all your units couldn't really even move through all that sand. Funny thing is, there is no more desert levels, so... Uh, yeah. Kind of a thing they threw at us once and just forgot all about it. Just like the rain, there's only two levels and then they completely forget about that. Not to spoil anything, but there is snow later on, but that's only in like one chapter. And here we have that drill music again. And here it is. The Gandalf of the Fire Emblem Universe. And they're just basically explaining the opening to Fire Emblem, so... And they're talking about all the heroes of the eight. And this is Athos. Arch Sage. Exactly. Insert reason for him being a thousand years old and able to survive here. Hunger knows no bounds. I have no idea what the hell that means. And that's why it's called the Living Legend. Because he's alive and he's a legend. Yeah, not not a very clever nickname. Sounds about the average nickname Lord Arthur could come up with, so. And now we're having a little chat session. Altogether human. Traditional means. Really, there's a traditional way to kill a person? I thought it was just like any means how. What do you mean traditional? There's so many ways to kill people. Haven't you ever seen a thousand ways to die? How can there possibly be a traditional way? Traditional. Traditional. Trans digital. Not really. You just cut out like a whole section. Whatever. That is skills to your own. Yep, we get Hawkeye. They're going to accompany us as well. But it's going to be a little while before they can fight with us, I believe, until chapter 25? 
No, 24. Hey, I know a number that I know something funnier than 24. I was just thinking of an anti-joke, but I couldn't come up with anything. Nope. I couldn't come up with anything funny. <sighs> That's great, thanks a lot. <laughs> yep. So it seems Pent and Louise are married. And stuff. Nathos, I don't know what the hell's wrong with him. How he's a thousand years old. Yes. And he's going to give us something. Hence those natural ability skills in which you were born. Give them to who you feel will benefit the most. They always say that. Don't waste it by holding on to it. And what it says is, give this to a unit you like. And gives a little treat to the unit that uses it. And if you look at it from the items menu, it says increases maturity. So, what exactly does it do? Uh, I had no idea until I looked it up. Basically what it does is two things one your basic level growth of stats like everyone has a different level growth uh, but basically to increase every single stat growth by five percent I don't know why I went all dark there for a second I completely wasn't paying attention but oh yeah because we're doing this whole weird thing where we talk to all I would mother or some shit like that but anyway also the person who uses the Alpha Drops, its picture will appear on your endgame score. Which is pretty funny, because you can just pick a random character who has no purpose to the story, really, and it'll appear, and it'll be like, oh, why? But who exactly do I give it to? You just have to find out. Will be Elywood, Lynn, Hector. It's not going to be Lynn. I, c I can tell you that much. She doesn't deserve it. And I'm basically sitting here wondering when the hell is this whole conversation going to end. I mean, come on. I've got 14 seconds left. What the hell do you want me to do here, game? Okay, here we go. Well, time to end it. Next time, we're going to do chapter 23.